Hey guys, I'm Matt Asplund and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Fab Marketplace video. This is once again the limited time free where we get access to three amazing assets free up until the 18th of November. You can keep them forever but you only have until the 18th of November to claim them. And these are Diesel Punk, Dwarven City Modular Environment and LED Light Generator. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with Diesel Punk. So this is a pack full of high poly assets intended for use in cinematics within Unreal Engine 5. So that is the first keynote there, is that their intended use is for cinematics and not for gaming, purely based on how high poly and how high quality they are, they're not optimized for games. But this pack ventures into retro futuristic dystopias or a grungy postmodern noir with darkly beautiful architecture inspired by Edwardian and interwar aesthetics. This is full of greasy machinery, rugged materials and industrial spires, along with cathedrals, palatial institutions, libraries, pubs, hotels, trolleys, railways, general stores, observations, fuel stations and drilling companies with oil pump jacks as well. So in total in this pack there are 316 unique actors and 1395 unique meshes so you have access to an absolute ton of meshes within this and the number of materials is 90 with 637 textures all of which are 4k. Now it says on here the poly count is 17.8 I'm assuming that is either million or billion however it doesn't specify but again its intended use is for cinematics so it's going to be a high high poly count. Normally this is £230 for the personal license and £915 for the professional license so if you do get this you are saving an absolute ton of money. And next up we have the Dwarven City modular environment. So this is a complete Dwarven City with both interior and exterior structures, buildings, throne room, dwarven props, rocks and architectural modules. This is optimized for games as the assets come with LODs, collisions and light maps for high performance. There are also customizable blueprints within this so you can easily set up fences and bridges with spline blueprints and there's also detailed decals so you can enhance the world with engraved stonework and atmospheric details. The showcase level you are seeing is also included within this asset pack as well and some of the architecture modules include walls, houses, floors and pillars. There are large statues, small props such as vases, crates, thrones, signs and fences and in total there is 130 unique meshes, all of which have LODs and there are 13 master materials and 51 material instances with 146 textures with the text resolutions all being 2K and 4K. So the personal license for this is normally £65 and the professional is normally £120. And finally, last but not least, we have the LED light generator. So some of the general features of this are an alpha input mode, so you can turn the alphas you want into LED signs. There's also adjustable LED light color and an adjustable frame. There are four different frame modes, those being square, round, triangle and octagon. It's got adjustable roughness and a metal level. And there are also basic settings to enlarge and rotate the signs. So this is a nice and simple one that essentially allows you to turn any mesh you want into an LED sign and an LED light which I think is a pretty cool feature to have if you're maybe trying to build out a city or just something you want to have in your level to make it just feel more alive and more lived in or if you want to help direct the player with some nice LED arrows for example and if along those lines this could work really well. Normally this is £20 for the personal license and £25 for the professional but obviously you can get it for free until the 18th of November. And with that, I think that'll be it for this video on showcasing the limited time free for the first half of November 2025. So we're getting towards the end of the year now. We've had a pretty good year full of assets and this is some of the final ones we're getting this year. I think my favorite one this time around is probably the Diesel Punk pack. And let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one is as well. If you did enjoy this video and find it helpful of me just covering these assets, showcasing them and reminding you that you happen to claim Please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.